G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here and in today's video we're going to quickly look at this new Brick Sketches theme which has just launched. Apparently it's going to be coming out June 1st, so in a week or so, and it looks really interesting. I'm personally into mosaics and you can see some other mosaics which I've done linked around the video. So basically we've had this information from Brick Set and you can see here a picture of the four sets which are coming. They're two licenses so far, it's going to be obviously Star Wars and DC. So really getting out there and making it off some well-known properties. And these look great in terms of being able to do quick little mosaics or something of that flavor and be able to come up with some iconic looking imagery and characters and themes works really well, hits that sweet spot. So it talks about the lead designer, Chris McVeigh, who was originally doing some of this work on Flickr and that really blew up. It's good to see that they've now hired him and he's doing this and they're releasing it as proper sets. So we just have a look at some of the different ones they've got here. So you've got the set 40391, First Order Stormtrooper, going for that iconic black and white and then throw a bit of splash with the red to really get it to pop. I really like the way that they use those, these pieces looking at a lot of your straightforward tiles and with some slopes and angles and doing it in a little bit of subtle light relief so you can obviously see you getting the curve there then going over the red background so it's just going to help give that little bit of three-dimensional depth and not be a complete flat mosaic so moving along to the next one you've got BB-8 which again you've been able to use the circles and just the way that being able to layer some of these tiles to get it on there and plates to get it to work you can obviously tell what it is and you can really see that this is not going to be hugely difficult for people to be able to get a result. I believe these are on 12 by 16 plates, which I don't know if that's going to be a new one or obviously it's going to, whatever it's coming out, it's going to become more common, which will be great to be able to build things for other mocks and things that we're working on. The Batman one here, which is probably personally my favorite, being a comic fan, but just the way that, with the way he's got that little grin there, they're able to get a little bit of personality into these and really make them something interesting so they're not just flat, boring portraits as such. And again, just the way that they're being able to achieve that effect by using these angled pieces and layering it and using a few cheese slopes and some other items like that. And then the last one moving along to is the Joker. And again, has that personality, interesting use that they're also going through. It looks like they're putting some hooks and clips on to get these eyebrows and interesting part usage there and again just that layering so you're getting the white over the top of the the yellow eyes and also too you can sort of see here with the teeth they're turning the things also on the side as well so it's not completely flat base building there's going to be some the equivalent of some studs not on top or snot techniques and again just being able to do that you know there's three or four layers there just in terms of tiling to really get that depth and it looks great and if you just go on a little bit further it does talk about the actual designer themselves and how this came about and it's interesting because they're talking about in terms of he was originally seeing how artists were doing like sketches like fan art pieces of lego which i also do you can click a video around here to have a look and being able to then figure out a lego way of doing that with these brick sketches and he's putting it up on Flickr, and that all blew up so i think lego have been really smart with this and they're going to be on a winner with this because a lot of people reacted to that and were doing their own versions so you can really see that that market research in terms of more of has effectively already been done and that people enjoy this and it's not going to be something massively complicated but you'll be able to get a nice result pretty quickly I can see very quickly that, you know, these are individual characters, people really blowing this up to massive scales and doing all sorts of group shots and all, all sorts of things of that flavor. The article itself doesn't mention anything about pricing, but it seems to be in the comments. They suggest it's going to be somewhere around the 20 to $30 mark US. It seems a little price heavy, but I guess they'll do the usual thing and try to justify it with licenses. And I guess as consumers, we always want something cheaper anyhow. Overall, it looks like it's going to be a great theme. I'm really excited to see what this does and how it opens up and you can quite easily see this lends itself quite nicely to other properties and iconic images and things coming along and being able to be done in this brick sketch sort of style. What do you think? Are you going to be picking up some of these? List the comments down below. And if you'd like to see how I've done some other mosaics, be sure to check out this video. Otherwise, here are some other videos you might be interested in. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.